Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming, as you can see the title for this, my monthly favourites for the month of September and I'm going to talk about stuff I love that month, <laughs> if I can remember. <laughs> so yeah, September was a okay month. I launched my Patreon and that has been really fun, like a lot of my time was dedicated to that, doing sprints and some other stuff for that, so like that was like the new highlight for September. I also launched my TBR game, so that I will hopefully be playing like every month or like maybe with some months off we should see. And that was super fun, planning that and like uploading that. So that was like for my channel and stuff, it's been really great. Real life, I just worked a lot because that's what I do now, apparently. I actually feel like I had a lot of more time off in September than I had in August, but I almost got as much money and I don't understand how it works. <laughs> But yeah, I like didn't work like a billion double shifts. I like, I feel like I had decent time off. Now in uh, October is actually getting a bit crazy again with working. I'm still gonna make things turn, spin around, but I've just been so tired the last few days and I haven't been able to film and it's been, yeah. Even though we're only a few days into October, but it's, it just feels like it's been crazy. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm already on the tenth of October, and it's been like two days. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it. It's just a lot of work, but I get money. But also, I don't want to work because I just wanna not work. So yeah, that is that is my real life. Then I read a decent amount. I read like twenty seven books. I actually literally don't know yet because I haven't actually updated my lists yet because I've been lazy. Or have I updated my list? I'm gonna see, maybe I have. I did, I read 26 books, not 27, I'm just lying to you. I obviously my wrap up would come out with all the books I read and th thoughts etc. And then for watching stuff, I've been basically just re-watching Supernatural season 5, I rewatched Two Blood, I checked my tracking history. And for like favourite stuff that is new, still watching House of the Dragon, really really enjoying it. I'm gonna watch the latest episode after filming this and I am just really enjoying it. It's really fun and very like maneuvering and I really, I'm really loving it. So yeah, I, I want to read Fire and Blood this month <laughs> in October. Don't think it will happen, but maybe November. I really want to read it now. And then for another favorite, of course, I started to watch Wings of Power, which like I started in September. I think I haven't watched the latest episode and if I'm not incorrect, is it not only one more episode? I don't remember. Maybe it's two more. I don't remember which episodes we are on. And I have to say that I am so, so, so much enjoying it. I think it's like one of the most stunning shows I ever watched. I mean, visually, it is beautiful. I just wish that like the writing was a bit more like complex, I guess. But I think overall, like it's stunning to watch. And I think maybe when I rewatch it, which I definitely will, watching everything like after one another would be a better experience than every week. I don't know why, I just have a feeling that I would enjoy it more than just story-wise because now it's just very like snippets of a story. All together would be better, but it's just, I really just like see everything come together and I'm really curious to see how it will fit next. I feel like while it is slow paced and the writing could be stronger at some points, I feel like when we get like later in, we will appreciate for what it is now. That's what, I just have a feeling that it will feel like that. But I am enjoying it when I'm watching it it immerses me and I'm having a good time. I'm trying to not think, overthink it, etc. and just enjoy what it is and I truly am. And then of course I'm also watching She-Hulk. I have like, is that done now? <laughs> I haven't watched the latest episode because I've been so busy the last few days. As I said, I've been utterly exhausted. So I haven't gotten to watch my shows this week. Last week, if it gives us a new week now, it's one more episode coming of She-Hulk. I think it's eight episodes. It's not seven, right? Maybe it is seven. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. Point is that I'm really, really enjoying it. It was not at all what I thought it would be. It is definitely super hilarious. I'm just, I'm loving it a lot. Tatiana Maslany has my whole heart and I'm just loving it. I think I talked about the same exact stuff last month, but that's literally like the new stuff I've been watching. I haven't watched anything new except those things. And if I watch other things I just knew, it wouldn't be a favorite. And then I rewatch stuff. That's that's my watching life in September. And like, even so, I haven't been able to watch everything I wanted because life. I've also been watching Worlds now. It started again, League of Legends, Worlds, Esports. But it's only been a few days and I'm gonna like spend a lot of October just watching it because that's what I do. So that will also take a lot out of my watching time and stuff, but that's also fine. But yeah, that is the watching stuff for September. Then my favorite book. There is like one winner. If you've been watching my channel now for this month and you saw my vlog, 
I'll use like 20 minutes of a one hour vlog to only talk about this book. It shouldn't be any surprise of what my favorite book is for the month. It was my first read for the month. I'm still not over it. I'm like an absolute ave of this book and I, I kind of just want it on my grave. And that is, of course, Babel by R.F. Kuang, which is the newest release by this author, my most anticipated release of this year. We follow Robin, who gets taken from China put in England because he knows different languages and he's going to be put in Oxford in a translation institute to use his language skills to use the magic in this world and it is a lot about colorism in this time it's a lot about the racism and how you take resources and people from other countries and use them for their own purposes if they care about, you know, where they came from, it's like, oh my god, you're English, why are you caring? If you say you're English, it's like, no, you're not English, you are where you're from, you know? Oh, I cannot describe it anymore, like, now I'm just, like, an Ave. It is a bit of a slow paced story, but I, like, enjoyed every page. It was just written so mir miraculously, is that even a word? I'm, tr I'm looking for a word, but I cannot remember it. But it was just one of the best books I ever read. It was just so good and thought through. And it was just how I just couldn't predict what was going to happen next. It was totally, I was going to say, crazy balls. There's just so much in there. Really soft, low magic system as well. And a lot about school and university, obviously. Because we go to school and stuff. And there's a lot about like studying and stuff. And I always think it's very fascinating to read about. Like how people study, how people survive. It was like the same... I felt like in Poppy War when Rin has to go like totally nut balls <laughs> to get in school and stuff. And I just like just the atmosphere of the book, how it just feels like the best meal you ever had. I don't know how to describe it. And it's just the words, the words on the page and the characters and how they're shown and just like how the story is set up, the setting, the ah I could go on and on and on and I feel like I'm really badly explained it here why I loved it so much. It's just like words has escaped me. Oh my god. They yeah, just ruined this book. I haven't actually read in this edition. I read in my pretty 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 Illumicrate edition because that was the first one I got and there was no way I was waiting. Oh, this explains it very well. An act of translation is always an act of betrayal. Oxford 1836, the city of dreaming spires. It is the center of all knowledge and progress in the world. And at his heart is Babel, Oxford University's prestigious Royal Institute of Translation, the tower from which all the power of the empire flows. Orphan in Canton and brought to England by a mysterious guardian, Robin Swift thought Babel a paradise until it became a prison. But can a student stand against an empire? Not me getting goosebumps. <laughs> I thought actually that was like written so dramatically and well that like it really takes you in there and I hadn't read the synopsis before reading this I read the first two sentences of the synopsis and I didn't want to know anymore because I just knew I was gonna love it I knew I was gonna love it just based on the author on the like atmosphere you just get by looking at the book and I just feel like I saw everyone talking about like they loved it and like it was everything and I was just like but why did you love it I want to know the details and it's just truly a book that spoke to me on so many levels I just had like the best time reading it and I love it a lot okay I just I love it it's one of the best books now I have ever read like it's on like my top favorite books of all time and I want to reread it on audio I want to reread it physically I want to reread it 400 times it is just so speaking to me in so many levels and yeah it just brings up also you know so many important topics as well which also like why I made the book 10 billion times better, but also like just the engaging story and just how it's all gonna end up. I loved it, okay? I loved it. And that's what I want to say. Yeah, there was no competition of like, what was the best book? I think like, hmm, what have I read this year? It must possibly just be the best book I read all this year. I think it's taking place of Convenience Store Woman, which like so far was my favorite, I think. It was just everything. It was everything. And I could again sit here forever and talk about it, but I'm not. So yeah, that was, that was, that was my favorite book. And I don't have more to say. I also played a lot of Genshin, playing every day to get all my daily stuff. Haven't played any Valorant in a long while, like properly. And uh, yeah, so that's my life. Working, reading, YouTube, YouTube slash Patreon, and Genshin. <laughs> I'm serious, that's five stuff. That is my life.
Is that sad? I don't know. That was it for this little monthly favorites as per usual. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my page down below if you want to join for sprints and other goodies you can get there. And uh, you will see me soon in a new one. Leave a tower down below if you enjoyed this. And you shall see me soon in a new one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.